Hey, hey, oh, your garage gurus. How's it going? Hurst Quasar here. Welcome back to another episode of My Garage. Yep, that's it. We are actually putting this, putting the final touches on this. Why do you not want to stay on there? There we go. I was going to say, I think I've got everything put together on this, right? I could, I could be wrong. I, I, every time I put together an engine, I'm always amazed, always amazed that um, it runs. That's <laughs> honestly, I swear to God. Um, I'm always thinking, uh, it's, I'm always thinking the worst when it comes to this stuff. So I always feel like I've forgotten something. I mean, it's, it's nothing to, uh, forget, to forget a, uh, you know, a gear, a sprocket, uh, spark plugs, spark plugs. That's another good one, actually. Um, I've done that before. I forgot the spark plugs. Even put the wires on. Even though the wires will go on, even with the spark plugs out of it. So, you got to be careful of that. Then you go to try to fire it up, and it doesn't start. And you're like, "What did I do wrong?" And then the, the wires actually cover, actually cover uh, where the plugs would go. So then you're like, when you're looking around the engine, you can't figure it out. <laughs> yeah, it's always fun. Fun times. Fun times times all right so yeah we are placed we've got this engine together i did paint it a ford blue uh ish so it's not really oh i don't know it's not really a ford blue color i think it's close in my opinion it's close um to the ford fanatics out there it probably isn't close but i don't know i i, I tried I, I did play around with a few colors and i came up with that one it's kind of bright um, but I do like it. I think it'll look good in underneath the hood of a black truck. I even thought about doing, uh, a blue interior for it, but I actually like the white interior on this better. So yeah, I've done a lot of, a couple of black cars, like the, the Chrysler, like the, the Belvedere out back has the light gray interior. So I actually thought about doing that as well, but I've already got that. So I don't want to do it again. You know what I mean? So, all right, let's put, I got the headers on the wrong side for the wrong side. There we go. All righty. So yeah, it looks like we've got this engine pretty much put together. I can probably go ahead and mount it into the onto the frame just to get it off the engine stand over here uh really no particular reason other than that just to get it off the engine stand uh, i had to drop the wrench there we go Ooh, that looks pretty all right what am i missing i'm missing a fan I'm missing the fan so uh let's see here oh right there all righty Fan on it. There we go. There's my wrench. Okay, and I think we're pretty much good to go on this. Um, I think I can go ahead and take this off of here. There we go. You can watch my step here. Can I get it? All right, can I get figure out how to look down in there? Oh my, this is going to be tight. There we go. Ha ha. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. All right. Nailed it. Okay, now for a transmission. I could probably throw a transmission in there, right? Um, let's get a trusty, dusty five-speed. There we go. Five speed in it. I love it. <laughs> I love to be able to work on an engine like this. This is really cool. It's very easy to get at. Um, you'll have to try to figure out how to get underneath there, though. Oh, Hurst. Okay. Get that. Okay. Um, yeah, we might be able to. Yeah. There we go. Got that done. Got that done. Looking good. Um, I could throw. Uh, let's see, a starter and a drive shaft, I think I can do. 
so let's get a starter. Go ahead and get a starter. Like that. Okay, I think I have to go with B. Hundred get uh, uh, it would be under suspension, maybe drive shaft, front drive shaft, mid. So I'm going to need all these. <laughs> I think that's okay. We'll get this figured out. Uh, there we go. I think the long one is the is the main one. Let's see here. Oh no. Okay. That didn't work out the way I thought it would be. But there's like no wrenching. No wrenches. What? You're kidding me. Um. Okay. Let's drop. Let's see where this one goes. This one go anywhere? Not yet. This is the front. So this has got to go in the front up here, right? Uh, no. Okay, so we've come into a slight problem here. Maybe, maybe it's, hang on. your hub, leaf spring, transfer case. Aha! Let's buy one of those. Okay, so the transfer case is going to have to go in there somewhere. Uh, transfer case. Hello? Woohoo! Okay. Am I connected? Anything connected there? What is going on here? Okay. All right. Okay, there are some bolts in there. Okay, is there any here? I don't see any back here. That's interesting. No bolts back here. Okay, can I slide underneath there? Oh, yeah, I can. <gasps> My truck is going somewhere. Those wheels were supposed to keep it from going anywhere. <sighs> Dag nabbit. Okay, so that's done. That's done. All right. Ah. Okay. Push you back. All right. Cab's going to stop it from back there. I was, I was hoping these wheels would stop it. Guess not, huh? That's kind of, kind of crude. Um, what else do I have that would stop this thing from rolling? I don't know. Everything is get it there a little bit farther. There we go. Yeah, see, I was hoping these would stop it from rolling. Obviously not. Um, what about this? Will this stop it from rolling? I doubt it. I doubt it. Um, so let's go ahead and put that back. I'm going to have to find something that will keep it from rolling around. Okay, back to transfer cases on. Okay. This goes there. So let's go. There we go, engine. Yeah. Now this one must go hook up to the front. Right? Yep. Hook it to the front transfer case. Nothing. Okay, let's go over to the other side. Crawl around to the other side here. Oh, maybe just stand. There we go. Those are done. 
Ah, where am I at? There we go. All right, so transfer case is all in place. Five speed is in place. Put, oh, put the starter on her. Starter goes on the other side. All right, so I think we've got this pretty much wrapped up as far as the suspension and drivetrain. Now we don't have, you know, we don't have anything like, we don't have anything like the battery cables or any of that uh, hoo-ha put on yet, but we will, we shall. I was hoping that would stay. Dang it. It would in real life. All right, so look at our cab here. It says we have a crack in it, and I'm hoping, hoping um, that it's just talking about the underneath. So let's, uh, it is dirty, but we're just going to make it even dirtier. So let's go ahead. We are going to cut this flooring out, I think. Grab another Another cutting wheel. So how's everybody doing? I hope this is this video is finding you all happy and healthy. We are doing well with this with this truck actually. I'm actually pretty surprised uh, about how much we've gotten done just over the past couple of days, um, and just by you know that needs to be done too, right? Kind of hard to, kind of hard to tell. Okay. Okay. Oh, crap. Okay, where am I at? Oh, no. I am caught. I'm caught in the bed of this thing. So let's, let's crouch down. Let's get out of this thing. There we go. Oh, wow. That was, that wasn't nice. Okay. Let's turn this thing over. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I'm rolling this thing around like it's nothing. Right. There we go. All right. Now that we've got that, these are in bad shape. Are they rocker panel? doesn't say they're in bad shape, so the rocker panels came off. That wasn't what I was expecting. I wanted the whole floor to come off. This thing being all flip-a-doodled on me. Uh, go. There's a crack in it. I'm hoping they'll talk about this stuff here. I really think that's the only pieces that I would have to cut out. Right? I would think so. Let me... Can I... No. Can't take it out. The heck. Uh, I wouldn't think you'd have to take those out, would you? Those are off the back. Um, give it a shot, but I don't think this has anything to do with the flooring. Okay. But I have better accessibility. This. Uh, I'm not seeing another weld. Wonder if it's underneath and I can't see it. So if there's only one way to find out, let's flip the sucker over on its side, shall we? Um, I can crack it open. Yeah. Is 
See if I can get it. Ah, oh, where'd it go? Well, it's out in the street. Quick, before a car comes. Uh, anything underneath? I see nothing. Nothing underneath. Wow, okay. Interesting. Okay, I'm not digging this. Is this all one piece? I wouldn't think so. That shouldn't have nothing to do with it. All right, let's go to the catalog, see what we have here. Um, B200 body. Floor pan, yeah. I should be able to. Yeah, I should be able to. Let me go ahead and buy the floor pan. Floor pan. Uh, hope I bought the right one, actually. Um, yeah, I think I did. Okay, so. Oh, where else would it be? If I had to take this so like it's a roof here, that there, that there. Uh oh, wait a minute. Uh, is that is that one down there, or is that just me? Might be just me. Oh, I think it might be one down there. See if we can get in here. Nope. Not seeing it. I was thinking I could find it underneath here somewhere, but I don't see it. Something I thought was going to be so simple has turned into just a headache. <sighs> okay. Not sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah. This really got me. Okay, drop. Okay, it's on its on its top. Maybe I get a different perspective underneath here. I don't see anything underneath here. <sighs> Not unless I have to take do I have to take the whole do I have to take the whole cab apart? Do I have to take the whole cab apart? That would be that would be crazy if I had to, but I wouldn't doubt it. Oh, come here, come here, dang it. Get back over here. All right. Well, I guess we'll do what we need to do here. See what happens. I'll just take the whole stupid thing apart and see what there is to be seen. I don't know. The floors, I would think the floor would be able to come right out. Okay. Okay, look at this. Like, the panels are going to fall off. The roof, oh, I guess so. Holy cow. All right, um, with that being said, let me go grab the screwdriver. Oh, look at this. Yes, I've started stripping down the convertible. I've, I've pulled it all apart. If you remember, this whole front end was bashed in. 
I had to remove everything. Everything was in bad shape. Um, I mean, the inner, the inner fender wells, the, the framework, everything, everything. It's funny how this thing came apart. So it's going to be interesting for me to put this back together. Um, yeah, it was kind of crazy. All right. Uh, where'd the roof go? There's the roof. All right. Let me, let me get these out of there. There we go. Get the mirror out of there. That's one way to do it. All right, because that is totally messed up. That's totally messed up, and I've got to figure out how to flip these bad boys down so I can get at the screws that are in there. There we go. Those look, yep, yeah, they're new. That was the mirror. Mirror looked okay. Mirror die soon, so it's out of here. Uh, okay, how's that one? Uh, we'll die soon. So <laughs> this crap's going to die soon. Might as well just buy all new and put it in there because it's just going to be a mess. All right, it appears that I have to take the whole damn thing apart. So, uh, let's take the flooring, set it over here with this junk. Might as well just throw that away too. Uh, let's go ahead and put this up. Now oh, my door fell. I have to be careful over there. This is kind of tight. Everything seems to want to fall on me. Okay, let's take my... You know, I did have another welder over here on the other side. Do I still have it? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. All right, where's my, other, where's my new floor pan? Okay, new floor pan. Uh, firewall? Just, just sits on it. Gotcha. Okay. So uh, this is not going to go on it until the roof is on it, obviously. So that's on it. Let me go ahead and make a couple of tack welds real quick. It's getting dark out here. I'm trying to get this done before it got too dark. All right. Oh, man. Come on. But yeah, there was some underneath here. But I think I actually... I actually did them. Ah. I figured. Get a couple of those. All right. What else do I have to weld? Come on, not gonna let me weld those. Okay, so let's. This over, hopefully it'll flip over without any issue. Yeah, lucky. Okay. Um... Go ahead and get 
we go. Now we can get down here to these. Got them all? Oh, missed that one. I think... I think I got them all. Stand up here. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Let's put the back end on it. There we go. Come here, you. I wasn't even close to you. And weld these up. All right. Now, because I've got this out here, I'm going to actually give it a bath. Needs it. So, oh, I've got the rocker panels I have to do too. So, hang on. Rocker panels. Um. Any wills and nose? Kind of hard to tell. Take a quick look here. Can't really tell if I've got any wills in there or not. Oh, yeah, we do. Ah, got one in, not the other. Got another electrode. Uh, okay, where'd I drop it? I know it's down here somewhere. Oh, there it is. All right, wander over here to the other side. Saw something on the bottom here, yep. Okay, I think I'm good to go with the cap. I think I'm good to go anyway. So we're gonna get this out of the way. Uh, let's give this thing a bath. Man, it seems like it's been sunset forever. I know the back here is in, needs to be painted. I think I saw a couple areas. Rusty on the cab. Yeah, right here is pretty bad. All of this up here is in bad shape. Yeah. All right. Okay. Man, this is yeah. Some of this, some of the areas here are pretty pretty bad shape. So. All right, that's done. Get the blaster out. Let's bring the blaster over. Looks pretty good. Door's good. That's good. Uh, is it a little bit down there or is that my imagination? Oh, imagination. Okay, inner door panel is in bad shape. Hang on. Hmm. Can't really get the blaster in there on that. All along the top here is in bad shape.
Okay. The blaster is out of <laughs> sand, obviously. Um, but that's fine. Can't get that one spot in the door sill. So maybe, maybe, let me grab the grinder here. Let's swap out the wheels. Let's see what we get. All right. There we go. Much better. Yep. I think I'm good to go. I think I'm pretty much good to go. All right. So now we've got the cab all done up. Now we're just going to have to paint her up and uh, let's see, I know I have some black somewhere, right? Uh, yeah. Use it for the engine, use it for everything. Now I'm going to have to, you know, oh, there's a spot right there. All right. I got some over on the other side from the paint booth. Um, but I see a spot I missed with the grinder. One of the bad things about this is that I'm doing this at night and you can barely see what's going on. So I'm going to have to drag this inside a little bit. Let me drag this. I think I'm good. All right. Do have, uh, I believe this is. Yep, it is. Ha ha! Let's go shoot this thing. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, she's good there. Good there. I'm going to paint all these pieces kind of separately on this one, only because every time I take it over to the paint booth, it paints my engine. I don't want the engine painted, so that's fine. All right. I think, I think, anyway, we're good to go with the cab. So that's going to be it for me today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to put this away and then <clears throat> get some sleep. We've we've put the engine in it. We've got the cab pretty much 100%. Looks brand new. Um, got the engine in it. Uh, next episode, we'll throw the cab on. We'll try to take the bed off this thing. It probably needs it. Um, I'm probably going to start mounting in all the interior pieces while this is off. That way, it probably is probably a little easier to do. Don't know how that's going to work out, but we'll figure it out. All right, guys, thanks for hanging with me. I certainly appreciate it. I'll talk to you all later. This is Quasar saying goodnight, and I'm out.